Huel, short for human fuel, but also sounds and looks like gruel, is designed to provide you all the essential nutrients that your body needs in one convenient package. Or at least that's what they say. If you're like me, you probably can't escape the constant ads that's telling you how good this product is. But what exactly is it and is it worth the hype? Well, let's find out. If you're new around here, my name is Adam. I'm a performance nutritionist currently pursuing a doctorate in human performance and a competitive natural bodybuilder, amongst other things. For everyone else, welcome back. I appreciate you. I first heard of meal replacement drinks about 16 years ago when I was 16 years of age. I was at the gym and I had this buddy who was making some really great progress at the time. When I asked him to let me in on the secret he told me that he was taking his uncle's cancer packs. Now it wasn't until a few years later that I realized that cancer patients often lose their appetite or can't eat and are provided with dietitian approved meal replacements. It's basically so they don't lose weight which can further compromise their immune system. So his uncle was essentially making major sacrifices for his nephew's gains. Even 16 years ago, supplements were nowhere near as common as they are today. At the time, the only protein powder that I could find was unflavored egg protein in the health food store, which came in a one pound tin and tasted as bad as it sounds. But over the years, supplement availability and popularity has grown exponentially with the exception of meal replacement shakes. Lee Labrada's Lean Body or Metrex meal replacement seemed to be the only two that I was really ever aware of. Nobody really wanted to replace their meals, certainly not in the health and fitness industry. Sure, weight gain shakes did exist which were kind of the same thing but they were promoted more towards athletes or young guys desperate to gain some muscle. But along comes Huel aimed at the blue collar service industry worker who believes he's too busy to eat proper food but still cares about his health. I first learned of Huel about five years ago when a client told me he was considering taking it. It wasn't until the last year or so that it really started to become omnipresent so I decided to go ahead and get some myself. To my surprise since I last checked out Huel they now have a full range of products. I just wanted to try out the original white one the best selling one but unfortunately they have a minimum spend which is pretty stingy considering I didn't really want it so in addition I bought their protein powder in the hopes that perhaps I would use it and I also bought a ready to drink shake. In total it cost me about 80 euros including shipping. They also gave me this free shirt which is a little bit ironic considering the strong stance they have on sustainability but it will do for painting the house and other chores. To briefly talk about their other products which I didn't buy such as their greens powder in my opinion it's just a carbon copy of athletic greens and the super blend is essentially the greens powder with some added protein. Both of these are actually not available in Ireland. It seems like they have some products available in some countries, but not available in other regions. They actually even compare themselves to Athletic Greens on their website, but of course position them themselves as better. If you want to know my stance on greens powders, check out the video I made on AG1. It pretty much applies to most greens powders. They also sell this dried food range that kind of reminds me of instant noodles that you would eat as a broke college student. I can't really see why someone would choose this unless they didn't know how to cook or they didn't have a fridge available. Now I'm not a food review channel and the taste is pretty subjective but honestly I couldn't not mention it because it was so bad. If you ever made bread or cakes at home before and you licked the raw batter before it was cooked that's exactly what Huel tastes like to me at least. The protein powder isn't really much better it's very earthy in fact I took two scoops last night before bed and I couldn't sleep at all because I had stomach pain and really bad flatulence. To be fair though I've tried a few vegan protein powders and they're all fairly similar but when people ask me what's the best protein powder what protein powder should I use I always say one that you like the taste of because you'll consistently take it now he'll don't make many crazy marketing claims like many other companies but this could be part in due to the fact that they've had their ads banned in the past for being misleading that is with the exception of these unsubstantiated claims about the number of health benefits on the product pages you can't find out any more about these supposed benefits and I'm pretty sure it's all just plucked out of thin air interestingly the daily greens product has 170 health benefits in the UK but if you buy it in the USA it only has 150. Either it loses some sort of benefits in air transit or it's completely made up. I'll let you decide. In fact there's no peer-reviewed literature on Huel at all. There was this one in-house trial that Huel called Project 100 where 19 Huel supporters consumed only the original Huel powder for five weeks. Sounds like hell to me but it did happen. In reality they only did tests on four core participants who saw a positive improvement in overall health. I think it is really important to note though that they lost on average over six kilos or around 14 pounds pounds. If you lose excess body fat, you will improve your health. I mentioned in a previous video that Anthony Howard Crow only ate ice cream and protein powder for 100 days, but because he maintained the calorie deficit and lost weight, he improved his LDL cholesterol and triglyceride numbers. So I think their Project 100 trial more so shows that losing weight will improve your health rather than taking Huel will improve your health. Their whole approach to marketing seems to be that
that it's cheaper and it's quicker than eating normal food with them actively promoting people to swap their lunches from food to fuel. On the Deep Dive podcast with Ali Abdal, who I'm a big fan of by the way, fuel founder Julian Hearn says that doctors and scientists pretty much agree with what a healthy diet looks like. And I do agree with Julian here. But then he says in the same breath that it's super hard to hit your nutritional needs with natural food sources unless you have a spreadsheet. That's simply not true and doctors and scientists would agree with me. That's what you call cherry picking, using information just to fit your beliefs, but disregarding anything that doesn't fit your beliefs. If you follow a balanced diet, you won't have any nutrient deficiencies. Ironically, people who do have a good diet are often the least likely to have deficiencies, but are the most concerned about them. Julian then goes on to say, if you had a Sunday roast every day for every meal, it's going to be super inconvenient. Like, I don't think anybody is going to disagree here, but like, is there anybody on earth who eats only roast dinners for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single day? It feels a little bit like Huel are scraping at the bottom of the barrel using completely black and white scenarios to position their products as superior to normal food. Breaking down the product ingredients itself, I mean, it's fine. It's basically blended oats, tapioca, which is a type of flour, and some plant protein with thrown in flax seeds and sunflower oil. Looking through the ingredients, it seems like a lot of these vitamins and minerals it contains appear to be synthetic, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But it is strange considering they say Huel is food. Technically, it's not too dissimilar to eating a falafel wrap in your local Tesco and taking a low dose multivitamin and calling it a nutritionally complete meal, which is what Huel is called. On a side note, you also don't need to get every single essential vitamin and mineral you need every time you eat. So personally, I don't think this is a major benefit. On the flip side, to defend Huel a little bit, people tend to be dunking on pea protein, which is the major protein source in Huel, saying that it's inferior to whey protein for building muscle because it's from plants. But this doesn't seem to be necessarily the case with this pilot study showing similar gains in strength and body composition when comparing the two. Others also tend to get sensitive when they see flaxseed because it contains phytoestrogens. And any mention of a word containing estrogen leads to conspiracy theorists to believe that we're all going to become soy boys. But again, this isn't true. And this meta-analysis found no solid evidence of flaxseed affecting reproductive hormones. It also does contain a decent amount of fiber, which if you follow me and my content, you know that's nearly always going to be a good thing. In general, though, you want to be chewing your food. It's actually part of chemical digestion where your body releases amylase and lipase. In fact, digestion starts when you see and smell food. And this is mediated by the vagus nerve. By simply drinking your food, you can potentially miss out on this part of the digestion process. And not to mention that this way of consumption leads to eating on the go and not taking time to sit down and to allow for proper digestion. If you ever had good issues such as bloating, gas, etc., one of the first things that you should or would be asked if you eat when you're on the go or rushed, the stressed out state is called fight and flight and the relaxed state is called rest and digest for a reason. At the end of the day, I'm here to try and make things practical. And for most people, cooking every single meal from scratch isn't going to be practical. I'm definitely not perfect with my nutrition. A lot of the time I do sit at my desk and eat my food while I work, but I do try to make conscious effort to make time to just sit and eat. I think it's important to ask yourself, do you really not have time to prepare a meal, even if it's something quick like Greek yogurt and some fruit? If health and performance is something that's truly important to you, then it needs to be a priority and you need to be able to carve out time for it. Are you honestly so busy that you need to have your meals prepared and consumed within 30 seconds? In some cases, the answer is going to be yes. And for those situations, if you can get over the taste, then Huel isn't necessarily going to be a terrible option. And if your diet is really terrible, it probably beats eating a hot dog and chips for lunch. But personally, like most people, I don't think it's a good substitute for real food. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Have you tried it? Do you think it's a valid replacement for a meal? And if you want some more in-depth information on what the 80-20 of optimal health looks like, check out the training in the links below.